Okay guys, happy girl again. I am back. As you can see, I resituated a little bit. A little bit too close for comfort. But we're gonna we gonna roll with it. Um, like I said, it's been a long day. My hair is utter trash right now, but y'all are not here for that. Y'all are here for all of that goodness. So this is going to be the Louis Vuitton portion. I'm probably going to make it its own video because it's several items. This item is the first one and it's for my daughter. This is her first handbag from Louis Vuitton and it is the pochette accessoire in the damier bean with the red interior. Hers is made in France. She's definitely really, really excited. Um, we looked at several bags. We looked at the Alma, the Speedy, the Palace. Um, what else did we look at? There were a few other like little crossbody bags, but she was she gravitated to this. And in all honesty, I feel like this is perfect for her. She's 11 years old, so I think I think that this is suitable for her. Now, there are people out there who would never spend that type of money on a bag for someone that's that young but my daughter is very responsible she loves all of her items that she has she's very organized and she's been like that for a very long time so I figured you know first time to Paris never know when you're going to go back why not you know do that for her so my husband and I were blessed enough to have that opportunity so we just excited to extend that to her although I don't owe an explanation I just want to put that out there okay so the next item that I will show you guys is a small leather good I'm really excited about this item it is the Capucine compact wallet this gorgeous little bundle of joy is so soft and supple and I love the the black and gold toned hardware on here and then when you open it up it's like this gorgeous pop of color which it's um I believe it's like a fuchsia but it reminds me of the multicolor that I have that Grenade interior it's definitely big enough for me it has eight car slots a slit right here right here and back here as well as the area for your coins so I thought it was a, a good size and it's going to be a really good size for another item that you guys are going to see I loved the color I thought that you can still be neutral but yet still have that surprising inside so I'm very excited about that this item I saved well over $200 on so I was like yeah go ahead and put it in a bag <laughs> um, and like I said if you guys want to know prices I believe I can't remember everything but I believe this this wallet in the States is $880 and I paid six, $600 in, uh, in Europe plus I still have to I haven't even gotten the, the bad return yet so um did I have another small item I have this item but I just purchased this from my essay today oh these are my husband's sunglasses he got the attitude pilot ones I think and the silver they're really really cute I, I even think I look quite nice with them on <laughs> But these are his. He picked up those while he, while he was out there. I don't know why they're in this bag. But I don't know if I should show you this later or what. But yeah, because, well, I'll just go ahead and take this out. Because um, it actually didn't come wrapped like this. I uh, went to my essay today to get these zippers. Um, wax because they were kind of you know the bag was brand new so um, they were kind of tough but she winds up boxing everything for me because I didn't get everything in Europe so I picked up this bandeau I think it is so gorgeous I mean oh 
it's it's absolutely it's gold black and white and the design on it is quite beautiful it's 100% silk and it feels completely luxurious so I picked up that item today with my essay Dawn if you're ever in um, I love her to pieces if you're ever in uh, Dallas Texas go to the Galleria and see Dawn she's absolutely amazing she find if you need something found she will find it okay <laughs> she will find it honey trust and believe okay so here's the next item that's in this box and it came in your standard well I have a drawstring so I don't know if it comes with the drawstring or if it comes with just like the flap over bag I picked up the um, Montaigne BB in Umpront in the Noir color and I have been lusting over this bag for years I'm glad I finally got it I'm glad I got it out there because they're making them all in the US now and this one is made in France Ferrant. it has the gold toned hardware if you guys have seen this bag before right if you haven't let me know and I'll do a review on it this is the BB size they have BB MM and GM I did not like the way that the GM fell on me um so I did not get that one and the GM is just too big this one is a really really good size it has the two pockets on the side hold on because she has it closed I didn't close that that's for extra security but it has the two open areas the interior pocket and then there's a pocket right here and then two on the side this is definitely a gorgeous bag the zips come all the way down here so when you reach your hand in you're not reaching and scratching up all your knuckles and stuff and getting ashy if you know I mean if you if you my skin tone you know what what I mean when I say ashy okay so you don't want to look like that it looks really really good on it comes with a crossbody strap or shoulder strap it's really comfortable and it just clamps on this area right here so I'm very 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 excited that I have this bag I definitely think that because I you know what y'all I did not have a black bag I did not have a black handbag so I'm so glad that I have this now because I think that this is an everyday bag don't y'all think so I think that this is definitely an everyday bag this is a bag that you can bring to work this is a bag that you can go shopping with you don't have to worry about holding like this even though you can you don't have to so I really enjoy that about um that bag and this this is not the receipt the receipt is something else because in Europe they get they still give you this receipt but they also give you the VAT return receipt which is kind of big um I don't know what that is y'all I'm not even gonna lie I know some of y'all like to see the receipts because y'all swear to God everything is fake not not my not my tried true people who who know what it is who who enjoy luxury items but you know the trolls that come through every now and then and they see things like oh she couldn't possibly afford that I'm talking about them so but yeah I don't know where that receipt is um so yeah this is a huge box and actually this box is not even big enough for what's in here she kind of stuffed it in here so she was like I'm doing this for you because I know you love packaging but when you get home take it out take it out right away <laughs> So I said, yes, ma'am. So uh, here is the item. I'm going to put this box right down here. Uh, 
This came in a drawstring bag as well. And this is going to be dun, 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 the Keepa 55 and the Eclipse. And I can't open it up all the way. And I had her wax the zippers. Ugh, they move like butter now. The, the usual Louis Vuitton zippers that we all love. They're making most of the key balls now in the U.S. And you guys know I'm kind of a snob when it comes to that. I'm kind of getting over it, but, you know, for stuff that I really, really want. But I really wanted these items to be made in France. So this is a key ball 55, and it has the, the silver-toned hardware. It has a luggage tag, which I had hot stamped. And it's it's silver, but it's more like a it's a really deep, gorgeous silver tone to it. It still it still gives you the monogram, but it's very 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 subtle because of the black and gray, and then the handles and all of the leather on it is black. Oh, is this not beautiful, you guys? I mean, it is absolutely beautiful. And my husband is happy that I went with this one because he's like, yeah, I can carry that. So we have several trips planned this year. So this is going to come in handy, honey, like handy, handy. So yeah. And I believe that is the last thing that I picked up from Louis Vuitton. Yeah, I think that's it. One, two three four five. yeah that's it and they did give me some perfume samples and stuff but that's it you guys that's all i have from louis so we get back centered on here so the the uh, montaigne bb and noir and the eclipse keep all 55 which is actually not really um it's not that heavy and we had it packed to the brim because once we once we passed um the bat return thing we put pretty much all of this stuff minus the boxes inside of that so all of this fit inside of that keep all so yeah it it packs a lot you guys it definitely is going to come in handy for us for sure so i am going to move some of this stuff out of the way and then I'm going to get on to my next unboxing. I told you guys that it would be Hermes, Hermes in the, the last video, but I went ahead and decided to get the Louis Vuitton out of the way so I can get this stuff put away because it's been kind of like sitting um, in the boxes and stuff since I got it. And I want to play with this stuff. I want to, you know, try it on and put, use my wallet and... Yeah, I really want to use this bag and two other bags that I got. So, yeah. I am going to resituate again. Take me a sip of this bad boy, ginger ale. Ginger ale. Ginger ale. And then I'll see you guys in a minute. 